So we're here at ITU Telecom World 2019 in Budapest, Hungary, and I'm here with Gino Um, who is Program Coordinator for the Telecommunications Standardization Bureau of the International Telecommunication Union. And we're here on the uh, Smart ABC stand. Gino, uh, tell us a little bit about this. Uh, what's it all about? Okay, first of all, thank you for visiting our stand. And we've been organizing this Smart ABC program for three years in telecom. So ABC. Nobody would understand what ABC means, but to give you a brief explanation, A stands for artificial intelligence and B is for banking, digital finance, city for smart cities. And we bring these three concepts together to find a better place where people can live. And then we also bring have a smart incubator program to bring startups. Uh, this year we have a startups from Rwanda and Ghana and that they have brought amazing technologies and we help them how to present their products here and that they also can do some workshops here and we also have relevant forum sessions going on but I would like to you to see what we have here. Thanks very much Gino, it's, it's Ghana Day today so uh, which is the noise that we can hear in the background there are the celebrations on the Ghana Pavilion but thank you Gino and uh, hopefully we'll catch up with you again at some stage soon. So let's have a quick uh, chat here, uh, this is Fair Dist, um, tell us a little bit about uh, what you're doing here and where, where you're from? Uh, I'm Jalamber Nigawa uh, from Rwanda. I'm the founder of Fairdist, which simply means fair distribution. Um, well, it's an application that is like a tool for humanitarian activities project uh, management. This tool can help humanitarian organizations or government institutions in their daily activities uh, like uh, uh, those activities related to social development, economic, where they want to help poor peoples or poor families through their government policies. The application can help those government institutions or local administrations and NGOs to manage and monitor their activities related to those activities related to those uh, uh, policies set by their government where they manage uh, the, their beneficiaries and uh, monitor how all the items are distributed to those uh, beneficiaries ensuring that the items are delivered to the right beneficiaries and they keep an eye on uh, <coughs> Beneficiaries who have already received what uh, they are intended to receive and those who are still waiting in order to get to report and is reporting with their partners. Great. Well, uh, obviously you sound a little bit hoarse. I'm sure you've been talking to a lot of people here. Uh, hopefully it will go well uh, for you for the rest of uh, Telecom World. Uh, thanks very much and good luck with your project. Thank you. We're going to move on here to uh, uh, Biddy Build. Um, uh, so uh, Biddy Build, you're from uh, Ghana, I see. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you've been up to here. Yeah, so we are, I'm Solomon from Bidi Bolt and uh, I'm from, from Ghana. So one major problem facing Africa um, is, is housing deficit. And it is for this reason various governments are trying to put in place measures to bridge this gap. For instance, in Kenya, the government currently plans on adding 100,000 affordable housing every year. But currently, they are adding 50,000 through small-scale businesses and then um, developers. So. But one major problem is uh, construction projects generally take 20% beyond time and 80% beyond budget, according to Deloitte. So what are the causes? There are factors that uh, are usually due to ineffective project management uh, practices. So BD Build is a software, a project management software that intends to help contractors save much money on their, or cut costs on their projects and also complete their project within time and, and, and budget. So basically that is what we do, we are a project management software. On time and on budget for construction projects. Well, that's wonderful. Well, look, great. Well, look, uh, very best of luck with your project here, and uh, and hopefully uh, we'll catch up with you again at some stage in the future too. All right. Cheers. That was Biddy Bill. And here we got Casual Payroll. Casual Payroll. It's an interesting one. So let's t t tell us a little bit about what uh, what you've been doing. So uh, currently, there's uh, a lot of issues in the casual payroll uh, management. So. Uh, first of all, when it comes to managing, managing casuals, there's a lot of ghost employees. So we came up with this device, which has a, a facial recognition and a fingerprint scanner, so that uh, there can be a check-in and check-out process. 
uh, generates a, a payroll report, and at the end of the day, we connect the bank and the mobile uh, money accounts of the employees, so that the money can move from the bank account of the, ca the, the company into the mobile uh, wallets of the casual employees. Great. And how far are you, are you with this? Have you had much interest and support for this? Yeah, we got a lot of uh, support from uh, ITU, and we have already two customers who are already using the product. Uh, we are six months ahead, uh, uh, and it's a very good experience. Great. Okay, well, wonderful. Well, that sounds really promising. Well, good luck with that. Thanks a lot. Okay, <laughs> cheers. And we're going to hear Doc, Doc Rep. So tell us, what's Doc Rep, and where are you from? Thank you. Uh, my name is Pasia Baraka. I'm from Rwanda. My company is called Doc Rep. Uh, it's a solution which helps uh, to provides a uh, uh, pipeline to generate a document, like from its generation to um, its archiving, sharing, certification of the documents. So it helps different institutions to easily uh, provide an application form by just uh, customizing the way the form will be looking and provide that application form to their applicants and then they can be using it easily. And uh, currently we are working with one of the government institutions that are helping us to pilot the whole solution and make it ready to go to the market. Great, good. So and you had some good conversations here at uh, Telecom World? Yes, um, we had met uh, different people and uh, we got more feedback from the people and uh, it's a, a bit challenging, uh, but uh, it, uh, it gives us more ideas how to improve the solution. And your first time in Hungary? Yes, it's our first time to be in Hungary and we really like the city, it looks nice, we had a tour and it's good. Okay, wonderful, well nice to meet you, thanks very much indeed. Okay, so we're going to carry on a little bit here, we've got a, a, a few more to, people to have, to have a chat with. Uh, we have here Global Plan um, and uh, we have uh, Dr. Haro uh, uh, Okamura here. Um, uh, nice to see you, perhaps, nice to see you. perhaps you could tell us a little bit about uh, Global Plan here for our audience. Yeah. What I am doing is to provide uh, connectivity, particularly for the rural areas across very difficult terrain, reaching to even to Mount Everest Base Camp, which is now ongoing. But uh, basically, basically, that solution has already been standardized at ITU T. Those are three recommendations: 1,700, The concept and the optical fiber cable. This is the cable, the real optical fiber cable that can be placed just on the ground surface itself. You don't need to dig a, a trench so that it, the construction cost is very, very affordable. And yet this is a submarine cable based technology so that even monkey cannot break this cable. So that this is almost very good reliability at the same time. And uh, those are very good solution for SDGs. So that's what we are doing to promote maybe not uh, for develop, developing countries, but, uh, but uh, developed, developing countries, rural areas is uh, my, my first target. Yes. So how far up Mount Everest have you got this at the moment? This is about 42 kilometers of fiber. It's already manufactured, but uh, I don't know. Uh, the, the, the project is a little bit delaying because of the difficulty of the glacier moving and every difficult terrain. So we are now having a discussion at this moment. So is it, is it feasible that you, one day you could get it up to the summit there and that would, uh, wouldn't have as many queues of people going up there or maybe maybe have people doing uh, Facebook Lives and that kind of thing from there? Uh, it must be very much costly if you go to the top of Mount Everest, but you can, you can financially support, I will do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, not personally, I don't think, not, not on my salary, but, but, uh, but thank you very much for that. And, and, and in principle, what kind of conversations have you been having here at ITU Telecom World? Have they been promising? Uh, ITU Telecom World is the place uh, under the United Nations so that uh, this is an entity that should uh, take care of crossing the digital divide and this is the first solution ITUT standardized. There are people, they, they're saying that the connect the unconnected, connect all, but the technical real solution has not been standardized yet. So this is the very much uh, interesting. Also the Kathmandu Post has already featured this solution to be used on Mount Everest or Mount Annapurna area. So this is a very promising solution. So ITU, I hope ITU could support this activity. And uh, you're no stranger to ITU events then. You, you've been to, to, to many. Uh, what do you think the value of events such as this is? This is really very much important. 
uh, this kind of solution is not very much, you know, profit, uh, you know, profitable. Closing the digital divide is a socio-public activity. So ITU is the best entity that support by producing standards. That's very good. Wonderful. Well, well uh, Dr. Okamura, uh, Dr. as you say, uh, thank you very much indeed for, for your time. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. So that was Global Plan. And now we're moving on here. So uh, you've got a, a couple of uh, products here. Um, you've got, uh, how do you pronounce that? It's, it's a Nobodoke. Nobodoke. And you've got Wazi Up and, and Wazi Hub. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about what you're up to here. OK, thanks. So uh, Wazi Up is an initiative which is funded by the European Commission. Uh, now we have our uh, this initiative is actually uh, said is going under sustainable and uh, we registered in, in Germany. So it, all the this Wazi up uh, means like open. Wazi is coming from the word from Soheli. It means open. So what we are doing here? So we are creating a African IoT startup and innovation ecosystem open innovation ecosystem uh, to create a more open business opportunity for young African talent, young startup, young entrepreneur. So based on the based on the technology that we have developed over the last uh, last five years. So, so what is this exactly? So this is a kind of a, a sensor prototyping board. With that, this is this is a very typical open source hardware like Arduino hardware, and then it also included with the long range LoRa communication module. With that, a startup or young entrepreneur they can rapidly prototype the idea. They can rapidly concept the, the validate their concept with that with their solution. So we have developed a completely like the end to end uh, IoT solution, which is very easy to use and very cost effective and open. And that will enable uh, enable the, the startup and entrepreneur to, to to faster the go to market. Actually, we are uh, very actively present in more than uh, 15 countries in Africa, and we are creating a local ecosystem in Africa, bringing the local talent, using the local resources, and then using our this open source technology and, and engaging uh, with, the, with the startup and tech hub and innovation uh, hub. Great. Well, that one, that's wonderful. That sounds very promising indeed. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to, uh, to explain it to us, and hopefully you'll have a, a great uh, telecom world here. Thank you. Yes, thank thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, guys, so we're here with Accra uh, Digital Center. So uh, tell us a little bit about Accra Digital Center. What's your name? You're David. T tell us a little bit about it. So I'm David Afori, Head of Operations of Accra Digital Center. Uh, the Digital Center is a mini technology park, and its whole mandate is to drive tech and digital entrepreneurship, innovation and entrepreneurship. So what we do is to support tech startups in different varied ways, sometimes through affordable real estate to have office spaces. We also support them with programs uh, such as um, a very equipped tech lab that helps them with emerging technologies like blockchain, IOTs, AIs. So as we're here, we have some of our st startups here who came to a smart incubator program with the AI. Um, also, the digital center is there to drive the SME growth. So some of the SMEs are already in the market, but then they need that congenial atmosphere to be able to grow their businesses. I mean, sometimes through other support network like proper governance structure, again, accounting structure, legal, so we're able to register even their intellectual properties and all that. So that is what the Accra Digital Center is designed for. And what do you think the major challenges are for, uh, for startups nowadays? So the major ch challenge of a startup nowadays, I mean, typically we talk about funding, but I also talk about uh, also the nurturing. So that's why we hear of uh, angel investors. So you're not just throwing money at them, but they're giving them holding your hands to help groom them with their governance structure, with all the processes that they need to be able to become a global conqueror. Great. And so uh, you see Accra becoming uh, the, the, uh, the, the digital uh, center uh, for Africa? Yes, Accra Digital Center is poised to become the digital hub of the whole of uh, West Africa. In fact, currently as we speak, we are ITU's uh, smart incubator partner for the whole of West Africa. So anybody going to the ITU smart incubator program from West Africa has to come to Accra Digital Center. Okay, wonderful. Well, look, maybe we'll catch up with you in Accra at some stage. Thank you very much, David. That's wonderful. Nice to meet you. Okay, guys. So, uh, well, there we are. I, mean, we, I think we've uh, pretty much uh, covered uh, uh, all of the uh, the, the smart uh, people who have uh, been uh, 
talking about their, their pro projects and, uh, and their products here. And uh, we will, I'm sure, catch up with uh, the, the Smart ABC program at some stage uh, at another show. But in the meantime, uh, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah.